is not a dream. Everything you've experienced today is very much a part of reality. This is a delusion come true. What is this marvelous vision? Pinkoon, is he the one? He's a Yoshi Honda! So he's the source of this delu- This is amazing! Beyond astounding! The Akihabara of my dreams! Hey, you kids, what do you have to say about all this? Huh? Who, us? Can't you see how those speakers sparkle in the light? Drink in the majesty! This... This is how Akiba should look. This is a reflection of the way things should be. You, uh... You okay, man? You need me to call a doctor or something? Asahi, now's the time to use your ears, not your mouth. Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully long time to run a business here. I hear you, but Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs, amps, speakers, headphones, you name it, we got it. You're probably too young to remember, but Akiba used to be an audio paradise. Me, I rode that wave from day one. Now it's all anime and idols and all that other garbage. It's a mess. Mm. Yes, I understand completely. But maybe I should say it was a mess. Either that's done and dusted, or I've misread this place for years. Because you look at it now, and the audio mecha's clearly back with a vengeance. Behold the new Akihabara! <laughs> what was that dude's deal? There's no longer any doubt. Hisa Yoshi Onda is the source of this delusion. I totally nailed my prediction! So it would seem. Saki, look! Uh, what? That's the entrance. Come on, let's get inside! Wait! Hold up! I need an explanation! Get back here! Ah. What in the name of all that is holy am I looking at? I've definitely never seen a door like this before. It's the entrance to the Delusionscape. Great. So, what's a Delusionscape? And how is this freestanding door an entrance to anything? Is this a prop? It's very simple. That man we spoke to, Hisayoshi Onda, the balance in his heart has crumbled. In doing so, it formed a path to a new Delusionscape. That's all. I've had my eye on that Onda weirdo since yesterday. Cool, cool. But you do realize nothing you're seeing makes any sense, right? I suppose we have no choice. The three of us will need to work together to shatter this delusion. So... what, you're gonna wreck this door? And... wait, did you say the three of us? How'd I get roped in? How could you not? You're just as involved in this as we are now. Look alive, boy! We're going in! But whoa Hold up! Wait! You gotta be kidding me. That settles it. I must be losing my mind. Ugh, damn it! Fine, let's do this! Sorry about this, Mizuki. I'll treat you to dinner later or something. Kansas anymore. Or even Akiba, for that matter. Probably not the time to take in the sights, though. Saki, you alive? Delusions. Just as I feared. Go get him, Saki! I'm not even sure what they're fighting, but it looks pretty intense. This has to be some sort of movie shoot. Well, that or the most lucid dream I've ever had. <sighs> this one's pretty tough. I don't know if I can take it on my own. I said, this one's pretty tough. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to handle all by my lonesome. Oh, no! Yo, Asahi, you waiting for someone to paint you a picture or something? Get your head out of your ass and help us. Nope. 
Nope, I'm good. More than happy not to fight any unspeakable horrors. So, uh, it's been fun, but I'm heading home. Saki! Asahi's gonna run away! What? W wait! Asahi, come back! I really need your help! Or are you really going to abandon a girl in need in a scary place like this? This is your own damn fault. You're the one who brought us here in the first place. Ah! Whoa! Hey, hey, are you alright? She is so not alright, you dingus. Now hurry up and go save her. Ugh. Damn it! Not so fast! Hey, you okay? Saki, Asahi's here! I see our plan was a rousing success. Wait, weren't you supposed to be in distress? I'm not seeing a lot of distress right now. Ah, oh, hell. There it is. Thank you for coming to my rescue, Asahi. But now I need your strength. Excuse me, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a neat. Strength isn't exactly our most widely praised asset. Quit your belly aching. We're not asking you to punch him out or anything. What do you think you've got that sword for? Huh? What sword? The one in your right hand, dingus! What? 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 Where did this come from? You just noticed? You've had it in your hand the whole time you've been here. What the hell is happening to me? I mean, this is actually pretty badass, but still... Okay, that's less badass. Asahi! Eyes forward! They're coming in for the kill! Uh, I still have a million questions, but this is really happening, huh? Is that it? Yes. I believe that's all of them. And I have to admit, for a first battle, that was a pretty impressive showing. So what you're saying is, I'm awesome? Not that that's surprising, because I totally am. <laughs> no question. In fact, I've been fighting for a long time. Probably should have mentioned it earlier, but I'm an old pro. Oh, are you now? Tell me, just when and where have you been fighting? And against what, exactly? Hmm, good questions. Before I go to sleep, in my head, and against an endless onslaught of scallywags. But hold on a sec, that's beside the point. Were those just actual monsters? You keep telling me this isn't a dream, but let's be real here. This has gotta be a dream. Pinkoon, please pinch Asahi's cheek. With pleasure! Ow, oh, stop! Okay, okay, you win! It's not a dream. Somehow, this is real life. It's important that you accept that. Everything that's happened is reality. And it's no movie shoot. Yeah! You see any cameras anywhere? Besides, what kind of casting director would ever put a neat in the lead? Are you making fun of me again? I feel like you're making fun of me again. But damn it, stop changing the subject! You're seriously saying those monsters we fought are actual physical things? I can't even wrap my brain around how that's possible. And I don't want to, either. More could come and kill us! There's no need to worry, we're going to be fine. As long as we have your power, Asahi, we'll be able to beat them. This isn't a manga! How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a neat! There's not a single muscle on my body! I'm going home for real this time! I may not have any prospects for the future, but that doesn't mean I'm ready to die. So you're just going to throw us to the wolves and walk off then? In a dangerous place like this? With vicious creatures lurking around every corner ready to pounce on us? And you call yourself a man! Uh, we're doing this now? Without you here to lend us your strength, I'll almost assuredly be overpowered and placed in grave danger, whereupon the monsters will capture and inflict countless terrors upon me. You know, a little this, a bit of that. Poor Saki. Asahi's stubborn refusal to help means that you have a brief but agonizing life of misery ahead. Alas. Come on, Pinkoon. Asahi may not be willing to join us, but we can at least try to go out in a final blaze of glory. Shame. Still, you'll never have to worry about me abandoning you. I'll be right by your side until the bitter end. Ugh. 
Fine! I'll help, damn it! Will that shut the two of you up at least? It sure will! You'll really join us? Well, I can't just take my sword and go home after a guilt trip like that. <laughs> Thank you, Asahi! I've even changed my opinion of you ever so slightly. You may be a neat, but you're not that bad a guy. Uh, well, there go any chances I had of a relaxing, carefree day at home. And... Sorry, Mizuki. All right. If you're ready, let's get going. We're headed for the deepest point of the delusionscape.
is this thing? It's got a totally different vibe from everything else we fought. Just as every castle has its lord, so too does every delusionscape have its grand phantasm. Wh who comes up with this stuff? Look, we'll explain later, okay? Don't let your guard down, Asahi. This creature's on an entirely different level than the others. If we can defeat it, though, we'll keep the delusion from encroaching any further into the real world. Damn it, all this gamey terminology is making my head throb. What the crap is going on right now? Saki, Pinkoon, we're in this together now, so you'd better explain everything to me if we live through this. The enemy's all alone. Good. I'll be your opponent. Okay, here we go. That's a wrap. Now you've done it. 
Is... is it over? It is now. One way or another, we've managed to win the day. You fought well. Oh, I thought I was gonna die back there. Can I take a break? I think I've earned a break. After we leave, we have to confirm that this delusion's encroachment upon the real world has been nullified. See, you keep saying all these words, but they're not making any sense to me. Can I get an explanation, please? Hey, Dingus! Did you hear us ask for your feedback? Now hurry up and let's get out of here! <sighs> it's good to be back. Huh? The station's back to normal. How astute of you. Yes, as I mentioned before, we've nullified the delusion. What's going on? Hey, it's that guy. Uh, what am I doing here? I just stepped out for a minute to buy myself some lunch. And then the station looked all different. It was like the Akihabara I'd always wanted. Oh, but what happened after all that? My memory's really fuzzy. Maybe I'm just exhausted. I should head home and take a nap. There's something fishy going on around here, though. I don't know what it is, but it's real, real fishy. And off he goes. Which means the world's been saved from his delusion and we can finally close the book on this incident. No, we cannot close the book on this incident. Not until you tell me what the hell is going on around here. Start from the beginning and don't skip a single detail and use words I can understand this time. As you wish. I suppose you do have the right to know at this point. I'll tell you what's happening in this reality and just what it is we're fighting. So you better perk up your ears and listen close cause she ain't gonna tell you twice. So, what's the story? I've been absolutely clueless this whole time. That's a generous way to put it. As I said before, we nullified a delusion that was encroaching on reality. Simple. Okay, so, the changes to the station were that guy's delusion, and beating the Grand Phantasm got rid of them? Now you've got it. Those changes you saw were a delusion made manifest. In this case, Mr. Ondas. Hold on. If someone's delusions start muscling in on reality, doesn't that just mean they're delusional? But you saw his delusion with your own eyes, didn't you? The station building reflected his desires very clearly. Only when we defeated the Grand Phantasm within the Delusionscape did those manifested desires revert to reality. I mean, yeah, I saw something going on with the station, but someone else's delusion? That's a hard pill to swallow. Would it go down easier if I told you not to think of it as a delusion at all? A real occurrence from start to finish? Not really. Because if that were the case, why wouldn't any of the other passers-by notice something was up? That's the nature of delusions when they manifest themselves in reality. The only people able to see their effects are the ones who spawn them. And us. 
Okay, so then the hundred million yen question is who, or what, I guess, are you guys? We're chosen ones, destined to perceive delusions working their way into reality and eliminate them. And I'm her familiar. Does, does that mean I'm one of the chosen ones too? <laughs> well, of course. And I'm very excited to work with you from here on out, Asahi. Nah. Yeah? I still don't understand this whole encroachment business. And the only thing I'm chosen to be is a neat. Besides, I'm a busy man. In fact, just today I'm already scheduled to meet up with a friend of mine for... lunch. Crap! What? What's wrong? I got so caught up in all this nonsense, I forgot all about my promise to Mizuki. Oh man, he's got to be spitting fire by now. As if standing him up yesterday wasn't bad enough. Oh god, I've got an email. Better brace for impact. Oh sweet! I just won a million yen and all I've got to do is click. Don't mind if I do. Wow, congratulations. Aw, oh, damn it. It's just spam mail. Okay, Mizuki's got to be mad at me. But there isn't even the slightest indication he tried to get in touch. Well, it's rather rude to be late to two meetings in a row. I'm honestly shocked that you do something like that. You do realize it's your fault, right? Hey, this time it is from Mizuki. I sure hope he's not too pissed. Huh? What does it say? Two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. My, he's still inviting you out tomorrow even after you skipped on your date? What an understanding friend! No, that's not it, and it's not a date. This is exactly the same email he sent me yesterday. Word for word. What does that mean? No way! N now what's going on? You really need to stop yelling like that. You're going to give someone a heart attack. Hey, Saki. Today was Sunday, right? That's right. Though it's so late at this point, it must be Monday by now. Would you do me a favor and check today's date on your phone? Hmm? Uh, all right. What? How can that be? That's what I want to know! So tell me, Miss Delusion Buster, how can it be Sunday all over again? And so began our Sunday. Our hectic, never-ending Sunday. Full of laughter and tears. Good times and bad. Honestly, it was kind of a disaster. But I had to write it out. For I was the chosen one. Yes, I was chosen. I was special. I truly believe that even now. Because thanks to this ludicrous Sunday, I've made so many wonderful memories.